50% of children in the UK now have some form of allergic condition and food allergy is an increasing problem. Adolescents are the most at risk for fatal reactions, yet young people just want to fit in with normality. And having an allergy should not prevent this. Our project is a joint alliance of experts in allergy, education and health education. It aims to raise school community awareness and dispel the myths around allergies by helping schools establish effective whole school food allergy policies. We now have some clinical guidelines both European and British, so our aim is to translate these into practical policies schools can easily adopt and embed within their school culture. Listen to our experts presenting some of the current issues faced by UK schools to help other schools reach a stronger policy and practice position without being driven to it by a near miss. The timing for this intervention is perfect. Absolutely, we've got new ERC guidelines, we've got the latest DFE guidance and regulation. Through this project we want to make sure that the rules for safeguarding pupils with food allergy are automatically part of the general rules for day-to-day -day life in school. We believe awareness is key. Food allergy is the most common cause of anaphylaxis. We need an immediate response. We had a policy, but we did not have a culture. And that needed to change. Keep that patient still and lying flat with legs raised after that adrenaline is given. Schools don't really know what they don't know. And, and this is where I wonder about peanut bands. I'm not sure whether that is such a good idea because I know when you leave school, there, are, there isn't a peanut ban everywhere else. Working with young people is not static. Um, it's a constant work in progress. It's important that we get the right people trained, but equally that training has to be disseminated out. You've got to show people what it means, how to do it right here, right now, in a safe way. Parents have this really difficult balancing act between um, trying to encourage children's independence and at the same time ensure their safety. It's absolutely crucial that a policy structure exists. A comprehensive policy is needed for, for school. We have a detailed and effective allergy policy with good implementation procedures and detailed support around those technical things which not everybody understands. We do see allergy awareness and management as an integral part of an overall package of pupil well-being. There'll be schools out there who are already doing good things. One of the key reasons for our involvement uh, is raising awareness of best practice in managing children with allergies. More than 17 million people uh, suffer from uh, food allergy in Europe and 3.5 million of these are younger than 25 years. We're so worried about young people. We did a big survey a couple of years ago. Over a third of them admitted they didn't always carry their adrenaline. We are striving to get to a point in school where all teachers check for allergies and management strategies as routinely as they would check for, say, special educational needs. We must keep in mind that children will respond differently, that one size does not fit, fit all. How effective is your school policy for managing allergies and anaphylaxis? Is it part of your school culture? Is your school community aware? Or could it be an accident waiting to happen? To learn more, explore the school pages at allergyuk.org forward slash schools or contact us directly via the website.